they're competing with each other for the same type of resource, if that makes any sense. But uh, but really not. It, it just gets down to which group is going to win when it comes to exporting their ideology. Right now, that's ISIS. Al Qaeda never had any intention of exporting ideology, but ISIS does. And so I think we've got to focus on them first, and they're frankly their easier target. Okay, but we can just speak generally. Islamic fundamentalists, radical fundamentalists. Any way we can get these uh, groups to fight each other to the death and leave the rest of us alone? Well, I think that was one of the implied plans of this administration, and just contain them inside of Syria and Iraq and just you know, watch with our standoff military as they try to do that Sunni versus Shia. That's really what it comes down to. Um, but this is, for, this is more than that. This is Islamic fundamentalist terrorism, not just uh, this war of religion. So I, I think that um, that's just no longer going to work. I, I think we've got to go after ISIS, where it holds land, where it is, it's inside of Syria, in order to uh, prevent them from having this, this means to do what they're doing, bringing people in there, to train, send them back to Europe, and the same thing with their exportation of uh, their ideology. But even more than having an operational base, it, it matters that they hold that land for uh, reasons of their legitimacy as a caliphate. Can you help people understand that? Right, so it, it creates a, exactly legitimacy as a nation state, and we do pretty well when we go to wars against nation states, which, which again, I don't understand. So, um, as to why we're not going after them, and and um, they charge taxes, and they run government services, they run the water plant. So, you know, they have, they have all the bureaucracies that the rest of us uh, are used to here. So, I don't, you know, we we don't we have an administrator that doesn't want to get involved with this. Uh, let's see if that changes after the election or so. But, but I don't think anything is going to change fundamentally uh, in Europe uh, until you go after the core of the problem, which I think remains ISIS and Saudi Arabia. But the point I was trying to make was that the doctrine from the Quran, as I understand it, is that the caliph, you'll know him and you'll know it's the legitimate caliphate because they hold land and they expand and they, they literally have, have established that country. And if you deny them the land, if you whoop their ass and send them a running, that will delegitimize them uh, recruiting-wise. So I love this. Right. And, it, and, it's, and what we're saying is, well, they've lost 25% of the land, so we're making progress in that. If the, that that's obviously not being advertised, or people don't get it. They still hold land, to your point, uh, and they still, it, it may change their legitimacy. A lot more attacks in Europe than in the United States. What is different about Europe from the United States? Is it something they're doing politically? Is it the proximity? Is it the number of Muslims they have in their countries compared to us? A couple things. I, first of all, I do think each of these countries has their own culture uh, and where this kind of attack would take place. Um, you know, Germany, a little more militaristic, more oversight. Uh, I would be surprised if attacks took place there. Um, Belgium doesn't surprise me. It's, it was just kind of the the bedroom community for these terrorist groups that attacked inside of Paris. There's virtually no border control between these European countries. So Belgium, out of all of them, has the most lax in oversight security. And, and the terrorists go where they can operate with the most freedom. And, and clearly that's, uh, that's why they're attacking back at Belgium now. And they uh, almost always blend into large Muslim populations just because they don't stand out, I suppose. It's just horrible. Right, and this is the issue about bringing on uh, these uh, refugees coming from the Middle East, and this is the, the, the challenge that these countries have on vetting them out and making sure uh, that they're there to assimilate. That, that's, that's what not, people aren't talking about right now is this assimilation concept. Um, you know, you go, I live in Germany. I understand Germans don't want the Turks coming there and assimilating, and I don't see how they want the people from Syria coming in to assimilate. So. Uh, they wall them off, they put them, in, put them in these different communities, but they keep their eye on them very closely. Huh. Interesting. Hey, just real quickly, well, real quickly. What would...